All right, so we're going to start doing a MAT scan. Um, first of all, we kind of need to log into our machine here. This one I'm logging in is the Kali clone. And this is the window server that we are logging in. And um, this is our main Kali server here, uh, main Kali machine that we will be utilizing. Alrighty. Just gonna do a few things, get out of the way, IPA. Just to, uh, make sure we get the IP address and uh, the window server. We are gonna search CMD. We're gonna do a IP, IP config to get that IP address. And over here, on the main one, we're gonna do IPA. So this is uh, 10.02.25. This is uh, 10.02.20. This is a 10.02.15. All right, we got the machines up and running. Uh, we already did the ping, so we're actually gonna do the MAP scan. So, what we're gonna do with our main Kali machine here, <clears throat> we're gonna first start an MAP scan, and to do that, we're gonna do MAP and MAP dash capital P capital R dash S small S small N. And we do 10.02.0 slash 24 because we want to scan everything on this network. And that network should be able to pull our Windows Server machine and also our Kali Linux. And our, um, so there you go. So we got a 10.02.15. Uh, 2.20 and a 2.25 and this one is a 2.25 so we got the Windows Server here the Windows Server is uh, let me just pop this open so the Windows Server is the uh, 10.0.2.15 which is here and our other Kali machine is 10.0.20 here. And uh, 25 is this main Kali Linux. Uh, the 10.0.2.1 is the main Brock main um, IP address that everything goes through. So now, We're just gonna focus on scanning the network. So now we already have the two machines up and running. Uh, we got the IP address for it. Uh, the next MAP scan that we're gonna do is uh, we're actually gonna scan the website if you wanna MAP the website. So this one we're gonna do sudo MAP. And we're gonna do a dash PE and a dash SN. It's going to be a scan me.mmap.org. And the reason why we're using PE is to very, just get an echo uh, connection, uh, communication. And the an SN is we're not going to scan any ports at all. We're just trying to get the IP address of the website. Let's go ahead and see for your Kali password and type in, hit enter. And it's going to go out to scammy.mmap.org to get the IP address. Um, scammy.mmap is actually a free service by mmap for you to do testings. Here you go. This is the IP address of the uh, scammy.mmap. It's 45.33.32.156. And you want to take a step further. And we just copy that IP address here. We're gonna copy 
and we're going to paste that into the web browser as we hit enter it's actually going to go right to the website scammy.mapp.org And while that's taking its time to try to get to the website with that IP address, uh, we will move to the next step, which is uh, create an IP address list. So uh, I'm just going to remove this IP list first. Okay. So I'm actually going to use Vim. And we're going to create an IP list. Uh, txt and inside this list if we open a new terminal uh, so we open a new window and this one we're going to do IP we're going to do a MAP uh, we're going to do the same MAP scan of the whole network so we get those IP address again so basically what we're going to do is we're going to copy these IP address um, we're going to copy these IP address uh, I'm going to hit I so I can start editing here and the second IP address and the third IP address and we're going to hit escape semicolon right quit and then if we cat the IP list and actually have those IP address just like any text file if you use the text it, uh, type it in the reason why I'm doing this is that we want to loop through these IP address over and over again so we don't have to type each one out uh, for this coming up steps so this coming up steps is um, I'm just going to clear this and coming up step is to do an MAP scan uh, we're going to be specifically looking at uh, some ports here. Uh, we got port 80, port 21, and port 23. And then with the dash, small i, capital L, we're going to insert the IP list. So, in that, we're going to scan these ports with the list of those three IP addresses that we put into the text file. Well, if I remember to put a P here, and then the ports, and then the list. It's going to go out to the IP list that we just created, scan those specific ports only, port 80, 21, 23, and then we're going to get either it's open, or it's filter, or it's closed. As you can see, 10.0.215 is the Windows machine. It has port 80 open which is uh, ACTP uh, the next one is uh, the uh, 10.0.2.20 and that's the Cologne Cali machine all right currently uh, all of them is closed port 80 23 21 is closed and then uh, our own current machine uh, the main Cali machine they're all closed so that's how you can be very specific specific to choose the ports that you want to scan so you're not scanning all 65,000 uh, IP addresses. Um, the next step here uh, we're going to do is we're going to scan uh, looking for filter ports like so here. And I'm just going to clear the screen here. And to do that we're going to do a sudo command though. sudo mapp. We're going to do the dash, small s, capital A, and then we're going to insert the list with IL, and we're going to allow it to go out there to scan the three IP addresses that we created on the document. 
and we're going to scan for filter ports. So as you can see, it came back, it scanned a thousand ports and nothing shown for that. Uh, the other clone Cal machine shows a port, but it gave the MAC address. And our main Cal machine here, no ports open. Uh, we can also do um, uh, the version check. So we're going to do uh, MAP. We're going to do the small s, capital V. And we're going to insert a list. And on the right tab over here, we're going to do an MAP. And we're going to look what the SV is. So SV is the service version detection. So we're trying to probe for open ports and get a version of our machines. And that's what SV is. The IO will basically in allow us to insert the list. And while that's scanning, be back.